I were a more famous YouTube personality, this review would probably go something like this. Axe Battler? More like Ass Battler. But I'm not James Rolfe, or even a good impersonator. So I should probably elaborate on exactly what makes Ass Battler complete and utter garbage. Where do we even begin? The fact that the titular Axe Battler carries a sword? Nah. Ooh, how about the encounter rate? Some portions of the overworld are more grievous offenders than others. The desert area in particular would spawn a new battle every other step. This would be infuriating in any other RPG, but it's made worse by the fact that grinding an axe battler is absolutely pointless. You don't gain stats or even levels. If you can defeat the enemy, you'll gain a few magic bases, which double as both money and MP. But if the enemy hits you once, it's battle over. In my personal experience, I lose way more often than I win. Seriously, these jumping skeletons are total dicks. So what effectually happens is I slug my way to the dungeon with half health. Thanks, game. Not like this shit wasn't hard enough already. Appreciate the fucking support. Cock. Anyway, the dungeons are the real meat of the gameplay. These side-scrolling platform areas would be fun if it weren't for the game's awful hit detection, mud controls, and limited field of view. Like most platformers on the Game Gear, Axe Battler suffers from an abundance of off-screen hazards and leaps of guessing. It takes much trial and error before you'll memorize where to jump and when to attack, and thanks to your minimal health supply, you'll die often and be forced to trek back across the overworld before you can try again, and again, and again. Dying is annoying, not only because, well, you're dead, but because it zeroes out your already small stash of magic bases. The game's impractical form of currency. Theoretically, you could spend these on astronomical in rates, but what's the point when dying warps you back to town with full health? Bases are also necessary components for the magic you'll never cast. I assume that your more expensive spells could really help clear out the tougher dungeon opponents, but what the fuck do I know? I've never been able to afford them. Then you have this pointless RPG fluff. At first glance, Axe Battler looks like a more colorful version of Dragon Warrior, which normally I would love but it's been so poorly implemented that it detracts from the potentially enjoyable action-y bits. You will have to talk to these incredibly boring NPCs to uncover quest directions, but this is never more than tedious busy work. There's zero equipment to buy, and because of the lack of experience system, your character undergoes minimal growth. You'll finish out the game almost as awkwardly and underpowered as you began, while the enemies continue to get tougher and stronger. I say minimal growth because every town houses a trainer who, upon defeat, will teach you a special move, such as tapping forward twice and attack to bum rush your foes, or simply jumping while swinging. The attacks that increase your damage are appreciated, but the system is inherently flawed. Had these basic moves been available from the start of the game, and the trainer system used exclusively for increasing attack power, Axe Battler would have had a fun and robust combat system, much like any other Golden Axe title. However, as the system is implemented, you'll likely resort to spamming Axe's most powerful attack. While good RPG em-ups exist, Axe Battler's RPG trappings only serve to hold the player back and prevent them from going totally berserk on Death Adder's lackeys. Alright, rant over. So the game sucks. But does it have any redeeming qualities at all? Um, well, I guess the main character is pretty fucking metal. Yeah, look, the Game Gear RPG library gets better. Promise. But you could literally play anything else for the system and have a perfectly enjoyable weekend. So let's forget this unfortunate explosion of ass and stay tuned to Daria Plays for more unepic adventures for the Sega Game Gear. You know what, before I let you go, let me reiterate just in case I didn't get my point across. Axe Battler. Fuck this game.
fuck, fuck this fucking terrible fucking game. Fucking hard, unfair, fucking ass, piece of shit, fucking ass game. There you go. You're welcome. Don't play it. Fucking game.